Alright, how's it going guys? Welcome to another video. I haven't uploaded in two weeks now because I didn't do anything last week. Uh, I stayed at home because I wasn't feeling well. So sorry for the lack of uploads, but today I'm going to Blenheim Palace with Ryan, who's going to be meeting me here in a few minutes. But my car looks like shit, so I'm going to drive into the car wash and jet my car down. <laughs> well, it looks like I'm in Blenheim Palace. Um, yeah, I haven't been here for. I only come here literally once a year, so it's quite a moment when I do. The car park's great because it's just a massive field, pretty much, and you get to get nice pictures here as well. And there's a kid about to take a picture of me. <laughs> right, it's not gonna like this any more than I do. <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. Me and Ryan have made it to Blenheim Palace and one of the best things about Blenheim Palace is not only the cars in the show, but also the cars coming into the show. Literally in the public car park, just like we are. So we've got a classic Mustang convertible. That is nice. And correct me if I'm wrong, but that is literally a 300 SL Gullwing. Like being driven here into the public car park. What the hell? That deserves to be on a freaking pedestal in my opinion. That is gorgeous. Anyway, we're going to go towards the entrance now and find Dan. If we get bored of Blenheim, we can literally just come, come and do car spotting here in the afternoon. So we're sorted for that. That's exactly what So yeah, we're going to go to the entrance now and find Dan and then see what's actually inside. And hopefully it's not a thousand Bentleys like last year. 600 LT Coupe in the original car park. I do not like Alpine A110s. I, just, I don't know why. They're not even bad cars. They're not. I just don't like them. I've always been a fan of about my A110s, even the classic ones, like the yeah. proper rallying ones. And I think that's a good homage to it. Really is nice. Is that a Ferrari Roma? I think it is a Ferrari Roma. It is. First time I've ever seen them. Nice. Uh, it's a different shape, but... It's a different it's shape. It's not the best Ferrari's ever done. No, I think that's the perfect way to put it actually because I was just about to say I'm not sure if I like it or not but what Ryan just said, it's a different shape but they have done better. It's not bad, it's not ugly but it's just not like wow that's amazing either. Do you know what? There's a 720S behind me and I actually thought that that Roma that's from a distance was a 720S. That's not a 720S, that's another Roma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they look like 720s's from a distance. It must just be the headlight. Uh, I'm gonna go spot the Yagera. Yeah. That's me. Dan, I promise we are coming towards you. And I appreciate you waiting for me at the entrance. However, this is probably one of the few chances I'm gonna get to see this Koenigsegg without a million kids standing in front of it. So I'm gonna see it now. Yeah, that's pretty savage. That's a, that's a wire roadster. That's a pretty nice first car to walk in and see in your morning. Yeah, they were snow foaming that one. Yeah. And they were snow foaming this one. Yeah. R33 GTST. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Christ. Oh, that's a road. Oh my days. You're in 25 million each? Yeah, they are. They're, those two are probably gold. That one. Yeah, I'd, I'd have one in yellow if I, would add a, if I had one. I'd have one in red. CLK GTR. They are savage to be fair, I love these. Look at the CLK GTR. They're sick, innit? Oh, this is my first time seeing one of them. Oh, I think God. they're really cool. I'm in love. The one, what? Aspark Owls, an electric car, 2000 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds. Jeez. Fastest that must hurt. <laughs> fastest accelerating car in the world. I think it's Japanese. <laughs> So okay, so it's basically a V10 plus underneath, is it? Yeah, you can see sort of see it the seems like the headlights of the R8. It's, it shares the headlights. And I think the real lights as well. The front bumper's got like Hurricane Evo sort of looks to it. Hello. No. You alright? From a mad car to a very mad man. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Oh, it's a single seater as well. No point of a seat in an event like this, mate. <laughs> this is the only one I come to that's like this I know. per year, so. I know. Yeah. But it is such a mad car. <laughs> it is, like yeah. Alright, take care. It's, See you it's really shipped, actually. It looks like he's hit some of the camera. Yeah. 
it's great. Pretty cool. But it's like it's damaged, yeah. Still and even the it's steering wheel's gone good. for handlebars. Right, even 100 miles an hour on this thing would feel like death. I think 30 would feel fast than this. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit cheap in the front. Yeah. That's just... I'd still just have this. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? That's cool, the SP2 Monza. In fact, this whole line of cars is really nice. These are probably some of my favourite Ferraris right now. But if I could only like drive one, then it'd be this. <laughs> Doing a Zenvo. Go on then, you won't. Take me to an F1 car. Yeah, Zenvo's are sick. I love the, I would have a TSR as well. The only way. problem is, for the last 10 years, they've been giving press ones to people to review and they just catch fire. Yeah, I mad, agree. Mad, calm fire. A supercar is supposed to look this stupid and then good you, at the same time. And, and that say, is, this car nails it. And then when you say the wing moves, you're like, what? <laughs> yeah, and you should see the angle it goes to as well. Yeah, on full lock, it's proper. It's like, like 45 degrees each way. It's, oh, it's yeah. got the um, fragmented carbon wheels. Yeah. Oh, forged carbon. Okay. It's not forged carbon, it's fragmented carbon. Yeah, it's fragmented. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, there's forged carbon, crushed carbon, fragmented carbon. <laughs> crushed yeah, carbon. <laughs> that just sounds damaged from the get go. <laughs> so you take carbon fibre and you destroy it. Incredible. That's the kind of exact Jamera. It's got the luggage is worth more than all I can't <laughs> Yeah, 100%. That door's huge! Massive, isn't it? Jesus! You wouldn't want to open that in a multi story car. <laughs> <laughs> $7.4 million. We have a one to one here. The spec on that Regera is actually quite nice, the blue one. It looks nice. Blue and gold. Yeah, that is silly. <laughs> Wheels. Do you know you can't get a speeding ticket? Why not? Because that folds down. So you just fold it down and then fly past the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Grand Sport Vitesse. Yeah, it's Grand Sport Vitesse. I like those. A V1 but with a roof off. That must be amazing. <laughs> yeah, I think this is my first time seeing the uh, 300 plus car. I love how they got a sign on it saying, please do not clean it because they're keeping the original. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so this is the very car that did 300 oh, yeah. miles an hour? Yeah, because it's all stripped out. Yeah, look, please do oh, not clean the vehicle. Shit, They're keeping yeah. it as original as they can from that 300 miles an hour run. That is sick. I think it's the only one so far. Yeah, Maybe. then they're planning on making like a limited run of the 300 They've done another version that's more for handling. Yeah, that's like the Per Sport. That's the yeah. Per Sport, yeah. And they're making a convertible version of that. But I still think it's the... It's kind of like Pagani said, like, yes, this is the last Honda. No. <laughs> Do you know what though? I still think the Veyron, especially that one, looks nicer than the Chiron. Nah, I think the Chiron looks a lot more aggressive. Looks wise, I'd still take a Veyron, but obviously car wise, the Chiron is just. The Chiron looks a so much Veyron. more aggressive. That engine bay though is. Oh my days. Look at the MITBs. I love the splitter and side skirts on it. Yeah, it's Maxim Design Splitter in side skirts. 10 or 15 miles on the clock. What, the LFA? Yeah. Well, look yeah, at the nose one. Like another one which he drives everywhere and tracks it. Oh, is that the guy who's got the white one and the yellow one? Yeah, he's got an F40. Look at the nose one on the left. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Page goes up to 300. <laughs> oh, it's got the Nismo extended gauges. Respect See, this, this is where I belong. Respect <laughs> to the original exhaust and everything. Oh, man. It's just so innocent. It's crazy. It's even got the original Japanese sticker on the bottom right. These were 20 grand 10 years ago. Now they're 75 grand. <laughs> when it, one as innocent as this is going to be like 100 grand. Yeah, easily. There's that one of one blue Aventador. That number by on this SV as well. My god. That is the <laughs> That is the coolest thing I have seen today. Forget Koenig's exit there. That is amazing. <laughs> Oh my, that's made my day. 
Oh. Dan, we're gonna have a scrap in a minute, I swear. That is highlighter yellow. That is yellow. That's yellow, that's, that's highlighter that's yellow. That's yellow. Actually, that's got that's a bit of green in it. That is green. That's green. A bit 600. I mean, like, donkey's gone over this freaking, uh, in his living room. <laughs> Christ. Jordan, it's your house. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, I felt yeah. that. Oh, he's on thin ice. No, it's like the Nero body kit. Okay, so what's happening now is basically a bunch of very expensive cars are going to drive past. This is unique. This is what's known as a super quad. These are the numbers. Oh my days. And if you're brave enough, it will go on to the top speed of 217 miles an hour. That looks savage. Thank you, Victor. He's riding an Audi R8 V10. They can't break horsepower. Ferrari latest to get the beautiful Amara car. From Manufacturo to the Torino, the Stratos. This is the car. Only 25 examples have been made. It is super rare. It is made by. Dan wanted to walk on the stage. Yeah, she did. Someone did a burnout on it. I was going to say maybe it's the Riquero. Dan, do you feel like a supercar now? <laughs> Last year and year before, here was packed with supercars. I think my first time ever seeing a CLK GTR was like roughly there, but this year, there's just... Well, there's nothing, so... That's different. It's got blue accents in the wheels. He's reversing off if he can. My ass is in other places. That's nice. That's a roadster as well. The valve's closed, I barely hear it. Right, okay then, well, that is my day at Blenheim Palace. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm gonna go home now, I've got about two hours to go. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Peace.